What's going on, my ninjas? First off, I want to start off by saying is that I don't know what I was doing in this game. I don't know why I'm walking around like a chicken with his head cut off. But I still end up going 14 and 3. There's a search and destroy gameplay in Nuketown. And I think the first reason I'm walking around all weird is maybe somebody was talking to me, like one of my family members. Or it could just be the vector because the vector just makes me feel all types of awkward. So I feel really, I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm really uncomfortable when I use the vector. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, it's, it's too accurate for me. I don't know. Not enough bounce. I don't know. That's that's a weird excuse. But anyway, guys, what I want to talk about today, we're going to talk about a few topics. First thing I want to tell you guys is that the new map packs for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 has been announced. It is called Vengeance. It's going to include four multiplayer maps and one zombie map and it's also going to include a new weapon and the new weapon is actually for zombies not most for it's up. actually going to be Gotta kill. Uh, a second version of the ray gun Gotta of the ray gun. and from what i seen about this gun is that it's not going to be like your standard ray gun anymore like your standard ray gun you shoot it, you hear the pew but the, the laser is kind of slow if you know what I mean, like, it's kind of slow. You can hurt yourself with it, but with the the new ray gun coming out, it will be an instant laser, pretty much like Star Wars Battlefront Two type reloading. gun that you can shoot through multiple zombies really quick with one shot. It's gonna be amazing, I'm pretty sure. I I don't think it's gonna be as it's gonna have as high of a ammo capability as the first ray gun due to the fact that if it does, it might be kind of overpowered. But reloading. guys. The second thing I want to tell you about, about the map pack is that we are getting a remake of Summit. Summit, job, hands Grunt's down, ready for the next is round. one of my, if not the favorite Concussion map out. I've ever played in any Call of Duty game. But that uh, Summit was in Black Ops 1. So if you didn't play Black Ops 1 too much, you might not know the map. But Summit is a really good map. It was it was it's a nice tight map. I would, used to get a whole bunch of uh, random tomahawks on that map. It was a great map. It had a lot of good memories on that map me and killer byron but anyway guys going on to the second topic i want to talk about the ps4 and how it's going to be implementing uh pay for multiplayer and for multiplayer on the ps4 yes you will have to pay for it and you will have to be subscribed to playstation plus i keep hearing going people on. say that to play online multiplayer is going to cost five dollars a month because that's what they said at e3 they said job, playstation plus pretty round. much cost five dollars a month but Eliminate that doesn't the mean they're going to sell them in one month so i think they're going to continue with the three month package and the one year package which is 17.99 so guys you will be playing 17.99 for three months worth Explosives, of back uh, playstation plus or you can pay 50 bucks for the Stay year up. i'm probably going to pay the 50 bucks for the year and get it done and over with but guys PlayStation Plus will be offering a bunch of free games, and when it comes to the play for multiplayer feature, this won't require for all games. So if you're if you're that stingy guys that you or you, maybe you just don't have enough money for it, you can't afford it. Some people can't afford it. And I totally understand. Bomb acquired. That. But if you get the PS4, you will be able to play the free to play games without paying for PlayStation Plus. It's up to the publisher of the free to play game whether they want to charge you for it. But if it's a free to play game, it should be free to play. But I think when it comes to all these multiplayer games, we are going to have to pay for this. And this is actually, I think this is actually a really good thing. Because Sony has released a post saying that any money made from the pay to multiplayer is going to go right back into investment into multiplayer. To make the multiplayer a more fun experience, better lobbies. And it's going to be great. So guys, right here in, this, in the game, I switched to my sniper for the last two rounds. Um, I think the first round, I, is this the round? Um, I'm not positive, but I know one round I get the most random collateral. I think it might be this round. I got this collateral, and I thought I only got one kill. And then when I saw I got two in the kill feed, I was like, what? But yeah, this is it, guys. Here it is. So as you can see, the guys, as if you slow that down, the guys were walking past each other, and they weren't even in front of each other. Like, one was all to the left, one to the right. I shot one bullet and still got both of them. You can see them still on the ground there. And I don't know how that works. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's commentary. If we can, leave... Oh, you guys smashed the crap out of that like button yesterday, I gotta say. We already got 13 likes on that video. Let's see if we can reach for even maybe 15 on this one. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this video, like it. If you love this video, favorite it. And see you later. Fire up!